Hello, I would like to give you an update on what we have been working on lately and what's coming up from Prime Tech in the near future. So perhaps the biggest news is the Prime Flex and Prime Blocks. Prime Flex is a new fully featured CSS utility library and Prime Blocks is crafted with Prime Flex and it's a set of UI blocks that you can just copy and paste to your application and you get a lot of nice looking uh, UI um, in your application. So since March, I've, I've started working on Prime Flex and Prime Blocks in parallel because while I was doing Prime Blocks in parallel, I was also developing Prime Flex. So after four and a half months, uh, I, got, I, got out, I got out with two new projects. And so that's, that explains why I haven't created any videos as well. So the Prime Flex, you know, those CSS utility libraries that have been getting a lot of attention and they're getting quite popular. And that's our take, Prime Flex is our take on that. And with Prime Flex, you can also create some cool stuff yourself or use the red blocks with, uh, with the Prime Block. So what is a UI block actually? A UI block is um, a single set of, uh, it's, it's a UI section, like a pricing card, a now bar, a sidebar, a footer, uh, you know, a team card, a user card, whatever you can think of can be um, a UI block. So the idea, the challenging part is making them copy and paste. They are not components, so they are not encapsulated inside a tag. So they are meant to be copy and pasted, and they are meant to be customized easily without overriding CSS because everything is integrated. So HTML, a UI block consists of an HTML, uh, CSS, but the CSS is not external, it is integrated. So for example, to define, let's say, display block on an, on an element, you just say block or flex, or you to use flexbox utilities, you just say justify content center, which results to justified content center. So they are quite uh, uh, similar in, in a way. And we have um, created classes, they're class based, right? So we have created classes for commonly used CSS properties like flex position. And the theming is the fun part because we have integrated the theming with the Prime libraries that it's being used with. So the Prime ng, Prime React, Prime and Prime Faces provide CSS variables and the Prime blocks in Prime Flex get that CSS variables and use them for theming. So that gives us the dark mode out of the box. And for example, if you can switch from Material to Bootstrap or one of our Prime 1 themes, the UI blocks, there's no need to change anything on the code. It will just look different with the theming. And another challenging part was the interactivity. So, you know, that for a now bar or sidebar or drawer, you need to, you know, add classes, remove them so that you can just open or close a menu. And also when you click an outside of a now bar overlay, you just need to hide it. So that's where for, for Prime NG case, we have created a directive called PSTY class. It handles all the enter leave animations. So thanks to the directive approach, it's progressive so that you can just copy and paste it to your application and that's it, you can just uh, start using blocks. And actually to test Brian blocks, what can we do with it? I've created a couple of samples, two dashboards, a one landing page, uh, another settings page, a detailed screen page, a lot of pages. So you can go out and check the Prime blocks uh, web page and to see what you can do with it. So the Prime Flex is um, out and Prime Blocks is out as well. For the component libraries, we have a lot of, also in parallel, my, it's my, while I was working on Prime Flex and Prime Blocks, uh, our team at Prime Tech worked on improving and uh, Prime UI libraries. So we have new components like speed dial, where you click a floating button and some actions are displayed around it. Uh, something like you can see on Android devices. We have the dock. Dock is like the um, widget from the Mac OS S, Mac OS X. And some new components are available in Prime React uh, that were not available before, like Block UI and Terminal. And we have done a lot of work. Actually, I personally worked on it myself. So for scrollable tables in Prime Libraries, we were using multiple tables, which is like a pain. 
I mean, we've been doing that since since 10 years ago. So there were no position sticky. Now with the thanks to position sticky, we can use single table to do scrollable tables and it gives us some new uh, features like uh, fixing or freezing a column on the right side or anywhere, any number of columns can be free if frozen. And for, let's say, scrollable row groups are now looking much better because each row group header can be displayed on top of each other during scrolling. So to do that, we had to do a lot of changes on the scrollable tables. It's done for Prime View. It's almost out for Prime NG and it's coming up for Prime um, React and Prime View as well. Uh, more templates are coming up, more blocks are coming up. Right now we have around 150 blocks for Prime Blocks and we are aiming uh, 300 by the end of the year. And a new, um, a new Prime UI library we've been thinking about. I've been checking out Blazor from Microsoft. I like the, the idea. It looks like JSF, but it's more on the client side. Uh, it works with WebAssembly, it's so an interesting idea. And I mean, I was expecting a bit more popular by now, but because it's in the latest JavaScript libraries are uh, dominating the, the, the ecosystem, but I expect Blazor usage to be, uh, to be more. And, you know, we had the Java library, uh, the powerful prime faces, and we have never done anything for .NET. So Blazor sounds like a good opportunity. So, uh, thank you for joining. Uh, hopefully more videos will come up soon and thank you. Always put on Prime.